Yo, what's up guys, Strats here, and finally I'm back with a new tutorial. Um, this is kind of the second part of um, making logos. Um, the first one was doing it out of text, uh, making a logo out of text or a font. Um, this one isn't going to be making the logo specifically, this is going to be um, how to get it into AE and make it top quality. Um, and then the third part, if I do a third part, I think it's going to be making a logo from scratch. Um, not sure how I'm going to do it yet because... It's going to be kind of weird making a custom logo saying strats and then you have to follow the tutorial so it says strats. Um, I'll figure out a way, I'm not sure yet. Um, but anyway, um, before I get into this, uh, this is Final Cut Pro X by the way, the uh, new one. A um, few comments on it. Uh, I actually haven't used Final Cut before. I always used to use iMovie since I got my thing. Uh, it's taken a while to open. Um, yeah, I always used to use iMovie, and this is a whole lot better than iMovie. Um, but I see where they've gone kind of with the same layout of iMovie. If you've seen iMovie, then you'd know that. Um, and when I open this, it usually doesn't take this long. I, I think it's because I'm recording it. Um, but, yeah, here it is. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty sick. Um, uh, I've got a few stuff, like, loading and shit. But uh, I like it. Uh, it's pretty good to use, and there's a lot of new things in there, um, I think. Well, I wouldn't know, because I didn't have the last one. <laughs> but anyway, enough of that. Um, so, I'm going to be exampling on this logo today, uh, which is already made. What you're going to want to do is uh, make your logo. Um, if you don't know how to make a logo, obviously you can follow the first part, or you can wait for the third part. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this part now, but I thought it would be easier, and then I'll figure out the third part. Um, but basically, a lot of people find uh, Illustrator, including myself a bit, quite confusing and don't know how to use it fully. Obviously with Photoshop, I know pretty much 90% uh, of the stuff on it, probably more. Um, but Illustrator, I'm sure I could learn it, get used to it, but it's not something I'm going to use a lot, so I'm not going to bother. Um, but basically, uh, I make all my logos in Photoshop, then I do stuff with them in Illustrator to make them better quality. So uh, what you want to do is, you want to make your logo, I'm going to copy and paste this, so copy that, uh, copy merged, I'm going to go into Illustrator, and then I'm going to go to File, New, and I always open it by 2500 by 1500, uh, that's probably because it fits my screen, uh, as it is 27 inch, which is pretty big. Um, I'm talking about the computer. Funny jokes. Funny jokes are coming then. I saw it. Uh, anyway, so you want to paste it in. And just wait for it to load up. There you go. Uh, it's pretty big as it is, but you can pretty much make it as big as you want once you've pasted it in. As big as the canvas can, uh, as big as it can go, really. That's a bit too big. Okay. Alright, so now we've got the logo in there. Um, you want to make a new layer so you can just make it in illustrator but as i was saying uh, some of the tools are quite confusing if you don't know how to use it so if you know how to use photoshop it's better to do it in that and then bring it into this basically you want to go to pen tool um, usually what i'd do before i start pen tooling it i would go to here and select this on uh, the red line across and go to here and select black and put the stroke up by one um, then you're just going to want to start in like the bottom left corner or the top uh, the top left it doesn't really matter and you just want to follow it around um, basically like this and the good thing about Illustrator is uh, if you've copy and paste the logo in it will come up with these green lines if you can see them um, which is like kind of helping you a lot so you don't have to kind of uh, rely on you don't have to worry about not measuring it right or any of that um, so you basically just want to go along the logo and uh, do it until it's done. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to speed this bit up, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, what's up guys? Uh, I'm back, and you'll realise I've got the O of the logo now, and uh, you'll realise that I haven't actually pen tooled around that, because it's a circle and it won't be very accurate. So uh, what you want to do instead, make sure you've got this layer selected and you want to go to your uh, rectangular tool here, hold it down and go to elliptical tool. Now, 
you want to just go straight into the middle. There should be a green line uh, and just kind of estimate where the middle is. And then you just want to pull it out while holding down Shift and Alt. And as long as it's from the middle, it should go out like that. Pretty good. And then you want to do it again, like so. So you've got the outer one and the inner one. Uh, so if I go like that, as you can see, that doesn't look right. Um, also, a lot of the logos a bit, well not a lot, but some of the logos like the E here is a bit dodgy, but I kind of race through it. Um, but yeah, what you want to do now is go to Window, and you want to find something which I can't find, uh, Pathfinder, there you go. Um, and you want to open up the layer, and you want to find the two O's uh, which you've done, and highlight them both like that. Make sure you click the circles as well, so they're highlighted as well. Uh, what you want to do now, um, to be fair, I can't remember which one it is, uh, it must be this one. Yeah, you want to click the second one in Pathfinder, that one right there, and it will group that layer there, so it's one shape, not two. So you've got a hole in it now. Um, then what you want to do is, you want to hold down the E and the O, because these are selected, these are connected, and I think we're just going to do the same thing. Nope, it's not that one. There we go. It's the first one for that. See, I can't even remember most of this stuff because I don't use it enough. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much the logo done. Um, the reason we do this is because in Illustrator, you'll see right now, if I go into... Let me just delete that. If I go to something which I can't find yet again. There we go, the zoom. If I zoom in, let me just make that black. If I zoom in, then you'll see that it doesn't pixelate. Look how the lines are not pixelating. See, now if I do that in Photoshop, let's uh, zoom in, you'll see how the cut, like, they're all, uh, they're all just little pixels, and um, it's not very accurate. Uh, most of the time, I won't worry about this unless it's a logo, obviously. Um, but yeah, in this, uh, it's great. So uh, what you want to do is, I'm um, going to zoom out. Oh, we've lost it. Right, so now we've got our logo. What you want to do now is go to File, Save As, and uh, I'm just going to save it on desktop quick. Um, and I'm going to make sure that's AI, Save, then it will pop up with this. Um, Sorry if you heard that tweeting noise, that's my Twitter. Um, and the Skype, I don't know if you heard that. Um, but anyway, this will, pop, this will pop up, and what you always want to do is go to Illustrator 8. I think you can use 9, but I wouldn't. 8 safe, 8's good, just use 8. Um, reason I do this is when you do it on 8, it is compatible to open in Cinema 4D. Uh, so you can make this 4D, um, which is helpful. And... Uh, which is great. But now we've got this in Illustrator, we can actually, uh, let me just close this down quick. Now you've saved it in Illustrator, you can actually just go and desktop and open it up in Photoshop. It will pop up with this, just click OK, and there you go. Uh, what you'll find is it's like a kind of uh, dull, it's not, it's a dull dark color, it's not fully black, so you might want to just mask a layer of black over it or just do that and then like that so it's actually black uh, but yeah you've got an accurate logo obviously when it's in Photoshop it will tend to pixelate but that's because it's Photoshop but you know you've got an accurate logo which is pretty big and if you want to make it bigger you can go into Illustrator and make it even bigger and it won't pixelate but don't do it in Photoshop because it will um, that's pretty much it for this part um, as I said, hopefully I'm going to do a part 3 uh, logo from scratch. That's going to be awkward, but uh, I'll try. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Um, please like, favourite, comment uh, on the video. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks a lot. My name's Shratz. Peace.